going on? Girl, what? Girl, what's going on? Vanessa has released her inbox receipts exposing Shawnee O'Neal. Shawnee O'Neal sitting around here speaking with Evelyn Lozada as if she does not know what's going on when she knows exactly what is going on. So y'all, let's jump into this video so we can get to this tea. Okay, guys, let's jump right in. Um, so let me give you a little refresher. For those of you who may not know, Evelyn Lozada has been off of Basketball Wives now um, for a few seasons. I don't know exactly how many, but she ultimately was off the show because her and OG got into a situation where it ended up being a legal manner and they both had taken legal action against each other. Um, and I want to say that Evelyn Lozada has started the legal action first and it seems like OG followed up with her own lawsuit. I'm not sure what happened with the lawsuit between the ladies, but as you guys already know, Evelyn is back on the show. She's Shani's friend. OG was not asked to come back to the show. Um, but with regards to the situation now, Vanessa and um, Evelyn Lozada is going back and forth on Twitter with these messages. And Evelyn is alleging pretty much that Vanessa Ryder is thirsty. Um, she was desperate to be on the show. Um, and Evelyn Lozada is coming up with all of these um or these situations as far as basically Vanessa is just someone thirsty that just wanted to be on the show and that she's making this entire um, allegation up with regards to um, Evelyn Lozada being in a relationship with Carl, who is her youngest son's father. So basically... Evelyn is just saying that it's a made up story because Vanessa is thirsty. Well, Vanessa baby has produced the receipts and basically she is exposing Shani as a little two faced it liar undercover and just a nasty person as we have heard from other um, basketball wives in the future. So let's run down these receipts really quickly here. Um, and this one I have on the screen, this is Vanessa exposing her inbox from, as you guys can see, November 3rd, 2010. That's like 13 years ago. And she's basically saying, hey, Vanessa, I love to have you. Um, we're doing season three and we are about to start film filming and she says she'll send the contact number if interested. Well, obviously, Van um, Vanessa didn't go on the show she said she turned it down. Um, and now Evelyn is taking to social media to say that the inbox is fake. Well, baby, this is what Vanessa came out with. So this is pretty much the verified account, Twitter account of Shawnee Henderson. Obviously, um, you know, she's married now back in what was that 2010 she wasn't married but what happens is once you change the handle on your um you know your social media accounts it just updates so what Vanessa did is she did a screenshot of her inbox and her account and she sent it in um to um, a blog page and they basically came and said hey we verified this is a real um, DM. Um, so this is the message that um, Vanessa has pretty much exposed in her inbox. So the issue is twofold. Shawnee Neal is sitting there having a conversation with Evelyn as if Vanessa is some floozy flip flopper that basically was desperate to be on the show when Shawnee O'Neill or Henderson, whatever she calls herself, pastor, fake pastor, whatever. She she knows that Vanessa was going to be on the show 
deck about what a debt over a decade ago because she reached out to her so instead of clearing it up basically saying well you know i was gonna have her on the show she plays as if she doesn't know what is going on and she never reveals the fact that she actually reached out to vanessa and vanessa is exposing this but y'all know what Y'all know how Shiny get down and Vanessa exposing her like this, baby. Shiny going to say, thank you for your services. Treat us with disrespect. You're not going to keep looking down girl, on me like I, I can't. Insecurity. I'm not, I, don't I cannot help insecurity. insecurity. Um, you can pull the card of what you have, what your last name is. You can pull the Never card of that, what you boo. have. You have can pull to. your EP credentials. It is disrespectful. You don't have to, but you Never are. Have. So therefore, Never you have. still treat us disrespectfully. Have I ever pulled an EP card with you? But you're doing it now. You are that bitch. You are a bitch. For you, Miss Brandy Maxiel, let me put that bitch on today. Thank you for your services. Thank you. Lights out, drops mic, and walks off the stage. Brandy assassinated her character, and she just had to do what she had to do. I don't know if this could ever be settled. Right. And you treat us with this. Well, in my opinion, Vanessa probably will not be back. As a matter of fact, it's a slim chance in hell that she'll return. You know why? Not only did she challenge Shawnee O'Neal, who you already just saw, she told a previous cast member, thank you for your services, and it took hell and high water to get her back. Vanessa has teamed up with OG. Somebody in the comments said to Vanessa, go and get OG, and Evelyn will sit her ass down. <laughs> and Vanessa replied, I have already talked to OG. So we know Vanessa will not be back. But baby, it is getting crazy. I just don't understand how a full-blown missionary Baptist church lady or whatever she calls herself is so messy. This just don't make sense. But my question is, by her involving OG, I wonder, are, is they going to bring OG back? Because let's just be honest. Like, if Evelyn is going to be the bully of the entire situation and nobody can really stand up to her. The show is trash. So Vanessa has reached out to OG, honey. Um, and we'll see. I don't know. Maybe OG will come back to the show. Um, frankly, I think she needs to unless she just absolutely don't want to. Um, because I feel like the way they treated her and, you know, how they let her go, I think that was foul. And OG is she's smart she's articulate she's intelligent can't nobody read evelyn like og nobody and that's why evelyn was mad so y'all let me know what y'all think um again vanessa she done teamed up with og honey um and shiny is apparently a liar well they've been saying that she was a liar so again y'all let me know what y'all think do y'all think og coming back let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next video.